Hello, welcome to Rivermead Leisure Centre. Mark Hayward here for the game between Reading Rockets and the Derby Trailblazers. I'll be joined shortly by Matt Johnson. Thanks everybody for joining us on the live stream this evening. Two teams have finished their warm-up, just getting ready for uh, the starters to come out on the floor. As soon as they come out, we'll give you a shout as to who they are. Joined now, last minute, by my co-host Matt Johnson. Matt, how are you doing, buddy? Last minute, Mark. That's my middle name. I'm fine, thank you. Yep, 35 seconds to go, plenty of time. And uh, a little bit cold in here, if I'm honest. A little Freezing. bit cold. We think we've had the back door open too long, but <laughs> either way, we're up and running now. Don't get that in the Boston Garden. You don't. Um, just to go through the rosters quickly. Yep. Um, home team, Reading Rockets, Nick Richards, Ben Dixon, Palmeir out with an injury today, dead leg. He won't be playing. AJ Carr, Ed Potter, Asher and Dar, David Chive, Sam Grant, David Obadiah, Liam Davis, Ross Stepney and Matthias Boho. For the visiting Derby Trailblazers, Trey Williford, Jake Wesseling, Ellis Haggith, Charlie Brown, Sergio Gomez, Blake Bowman, Oliver Stanley, Jody Campbell and Malcolm Smith make up the Derby roster. Yep. So just uh, to cover quickly then, Matt, who we think are going to be the kind of keys to this game, starting with Reading, who would be your key man for today? Yeah, I'm going to jump in quick, Mark. Um, both teams coach really well. Alan Keane, as we all know, for Reading. And Matt Shaw has been around for a long time, ex-NBL player as well, and doing a great job in Derby, always has done. I'm sure there'll be people in Derby that are listening in to us today and will be very grateful for his work. So, yeah. Um, on to the players, I think Richards has been quiet the last couple of games, playing really well, got some really gutsy wins. We've seen another side to him, but I think his, uh, if he starts scoring from the perimeter, uh, as we know he can do, then it's going to be a, he'll be tough to stop. So um, Nick's got a lot to do, and I think AJ's been the pick of the bunch in the last few games, and he's shooting the ball at a really high percentage, taking good shots. And let's see if we can, uh, if that will carry on against this this very, very talented and physically good Derby team. So let's have a look at this Derby team then. So it's Trey Williford, um, Jody Campbell's I'm out sure on the floor. I'm sure that's Wilford. I'm sure it's Wilford. Wilford, sorry. That's all right. That's my eyes in, in the, in the short term while looking just, just down at my programme. Wilford, excuse yeah. me. Um, Campbell's on the floor. That's Blake Bowman. Yeah. Blake Bowman under 19 mark as well, playing at Derby's Academy. Oliver Stanley up front, and then I just can't see Malcolm Smith, Malcolm Smith on the other side, yeah. of course. You, Malcolm Smith, probably one of the best um, imported players in the division, um, and arguably has been in his career here, one of the outstanding performers of the last three or four years. He's an absolute load, plays way above his physical height, um, and just a terrific guy. Come back from a really difficult injury last year, they missed him a lot. Um, and it's credit to Derby of how well they've done in terms of playing with or without him. But here we go for a tip-off. Over to you, Mark. So here we go. Liam Davis wins the tip, and it'll be Ben Dixon with the first possession for the Rockets. It's Dixon, Davis, Boho, Carr, and Nick Richards on the floor as starters, if you missed those. And this is Matthias. Hands off to Nick Richards just inside three. He'll go down low to Liam. The lefty hook, nice star for Liam Davis. Had probably his best game for the Rockets, 13 and 13. I think it was in his last outing. Yeah, I, I happened to be in the Saturday game against Hemel, uh, uh, sorry, against um, where were Essex up at Oakland. And what I was really super impressed with was his toughness as well. It's, it's pretty difficult at his size not to just be a dominant big. And he's now doing some things both sides of the ball with, it, with it, not just his jump shot, but just like you saw. Saw there into the left-handed jump hook, and there's that one that he likes to shoot. Um, Good boards by Dixon. It was Oliver Stanley on the other end for Derby. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a... That's, that's an interesting start as well, seeing Matthias got the start. It's Campbell into Bowman. Nowhere to go. Just tries to dump it off inside yeah. to Stanley. Doesn't get it. Yeah, Smith for a long pull-up. Dixon's pulled it down. So 2-2 two, two hit. Good start by both teams. And this is Matthias again going inside to the right hand. Drops it off to Liam who can't handle it. 
Rockets not doing a great job with the ball, a bit untidy at the moment. Shot clock down to eight. This is Dixon going left. He'll spin, force his way inside. Nice, can't get it to go. And it will stay with the Rockets. And the shot clock resets to 14. It's cold in here, Mark. I told you at the beginning, two handling errors, people feet slipping. So this is going to be a tricky few minutes for both teams, I think, just to get into the rhythm of it. AJ low block. There's that nice touch you spoke about before the game, <laughs> and he is shooting it well. Yeah, really nice touch, AJ. And just when I say it's cold and it's tough to play and shoot well, then AJ looks like it's he's 30 degrees. First three just comes out. Same thing, can't handle it. Campbell missed that one. He's been a really good acquisition for them. Wilford inside, left hand can't finish, but that's tipped up and in. Might have been. Bowman on the follow. Boho for three, way short this time, but Liam Davis tries to hustle it down, foot on the line, and we'll be going the other way again with Derby. Score mm. is four to four. Yeah, what, and uh, 7.45 to go in the quarter. Yeah, what do you think of that shot, Mark? What do you, what do you feel early on in the game? Matthias shooting that one in transition. Yeah, probably, you know, maybe needs to play himself in a bit. He's driven the ball well a couple of times. Maybe he was feeling confident, but... It doesn't go this time. You see Rocket switch to a 3-2 zone or 2-3 zone. Blocked at the rim by Liam Davis. He yeah, is yeah. not happy with that call. Absolutely. As he, uh, Absolutely. The referee and Liam both smiled and shared quite an interesting moment. Good run for young players, that one, I think, Mark. And uh, you'll hear us say that a little bit. That's Liam giving the referee a bit of a nod and a wink and saying, yep, OK, maybe, but we're not going to go on about it. We respect you. We we'll like that. Absolutely. And it'll be... Um, Oliver Stanley at the line, his first free throws of the night, makes the first. Yeah, I mean, Oliver Stanley, Mark, another Trojan for Derby over the years. He's been in this D1 team for a long time and he's been there and not, not been a main part of that group. And he's stayed patient, played his way in. He's now starting. He's, a, he's given his team a really good inside presence as well. Interesting, the 2-2-1 trap to start off, so... Pat Shaw obviously trying to slow down. It's AJ again on the turnaround. Yep. He's short on that one. I'd say a bit of pressure early from uh, Derby, a bit token pressure. And this is Wilford goes to the double crossover. Lefty doesn't get it to go. There you go again. Stanley on the boards doing a really good job. And we've got timeout on the floor with Alan Keane. Score is 8-4. to four. Derby leading this one. 7-0-4 in the quarter. Yep. Good. A bit of a cagey start by both teams. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I, I think one of the things I, I think we've got to find our way as a group here at, at the Rockets here is to, to establish an inside presence, and that doesn't mean you don't shoot, but I think we, we've taken four perimeter shots without the ball touching the inside. We've gone inside twice, Liam Davis with a jump hook and then AJ with a little baby jumper, and I think we really need to establish not just the size of the guys but the intensity as well, and um, we tend to shoot it a little quickly for my liking. It's fine if you've got a, a guy who's made a couple of shots and he's in rhythm, I think. But I think we need to just, just grow a little bit through these phases. And you can see Derby have uh, missed all their shots as well, but have got after it, got to the rim and, and got into the bucket. So quite an interesting start. And speaking of some of those guys that you mentioned, Liam and those guys, um, yep. doing some good work in the community at the moment with Rockets. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who are the guys out out in the schools and doing that during the week? Yeah, I, well, we've got Liam's out there, Ben's out there, AJ's out there, um, Matthias is out there. These guys are doing a great job, Mark, and they're, they're now very important, not just to the way we play on the floor, but also how they're seen off the floor. Some of them working as mentors at JMA, um, working with some kids that have had a some tough time in their education and uh, and they're looking to get a bit of support and these guys are just telling them that you know you can do many many things but you need your education so it's really good to see yeah great to see and uh, Rockets will get us going again I said 8-4 down three minutes into the uh, first there's the outside oh, there shot you go. there you go Mateus hits it but it's different isn't it it's yeah. in rhythm it's out of design um, different sort of three that one so good work but Derby continue to Push the pace, Wilford inside again, hands yeah. off to Bowman. Yeah, good hands, everybody. He'll force his way in. I don't think... It's Campbell from look, the perimeter. Really getting Bowman. after on the boards again, and they'll put it in. Yeah. Derby Trailblazers working hard on the offensive glass. And I think, Mark, that's four different guys have got their hands on four different offensive rebounds. 
So it kind of brings to life the fact that after you've made a shot, you've got to really add weight to that to that by making the next possession great. This is a this will tie that run with three all if he makes this one, which he does. Makes it. Derby jump out to a four point lead, 11 7. Bit of token pressure again, but nothing uh, nothing that's going to trouble the Rockets. They go back inside to Davis. He'll go yeah. underneath with the left. Great, like stuff. great, great move from Really good to see as well. Coach Shaw will be a bit frustrated with that. Oh, taken out the sky by Richards. <laughs> great great athletic. One legged balance, keep the ball in. They're going to call an offensive foul, I guess. Is, is that moving, it's a block. I can't remember what the actual terminology is. Moving screen in my day, mate, but. Yeah, offensive foul. Um, yeah, illegal blocking. There's 10 different things we can call it, but it's it, it, that's what happens when you're not ready for the, for the play. Uh, Dixon's just trying to work, you know, almost ad-libbing with Nick and with AJ. Didn't quite get it right. This would be interesting to see how we make the adjustment now. Still, still in the zone. Wilford. Another early yeah. whistle. Is that on Dixon again? Yeah, it is. That's going to be, may well force Alan Keane into some changes. And yeah, second foul. Four minutes gone, Chives coming in. So we go from a steady veteran in Ben Dixon to uh, the apprentice somewhat in David Chive. But if you've uh, tuned into any of the live streams and, and heard our thoughts, got a lot of love for David Chive on the live stream. Yeah, yeah, doing, doing well. Forget that. Forget age. Now you're in. Uh, this is D1. You, it's about results. So interesting to see the scout now, where they're they're baiting shots. Stanley gets AJ to jump. He slips on the drive. Foul yeah. called. Um, St still zero zero fouls called. Five nil now in the foul. So this this will frustrate everyone in the gym, including the coach. One team in team fouls, Mark, the other team hasn't actually had a foul called against them with, with five minutes in. These types of games, though, you know what's happened is is Derby, uh, uh, the visibly more physical aggressor yep. on the floor, offensive rebounds, pushing the tempo a bit. That sometimes sways how the uh, how the officiating tends to happen. I'm not saying it in a, yeah, in a negative yeah, way, absolutely. but you tend to get a lot of those calls go your way if you are... If you are more of the aggressors. Um, while we've got um, Oliver Stanley on the line, Matt, just checking in with the uh, stream. Got 48 people watching at the moment, which is amazing. Um, Dexter Chapman giving us a shout out. Thanks, Dexter. I haven't spoken wow. in a very long time, so I hope wow. you're well. Yeah, great name. Great name to hear. Um, Raiders 0609. That is AJ's mother. I hope things are going well. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving over there. Um, and she says the fouls are one-sided. Statistics would agree with that at the moment as AJ is the one inside, forces one up. Yeah. Can't get it to go, but he will go to the line for two. 12-9, Derby lead this, 5.33 in the quarter. Yeah, and uh, I think you're right, Mark. I think your comment was, was spot on where AJ strokes the first one where you know you're talking about being the aggressor, being the team, and, and and that was that was certainly visible. And I think that's definitely something that coach has got to be working at. But we also AJ makes two from two. I think there's also a, a conversation when you're officiating games like this that there has to be a kind of a relevance and a, and a, a distinction where the the typer calls the same thing. Dixon with his first steal of the game. Neither ref, none of the three found it. Jump ball. Great pressure from the Rockets and uh, heady play of Nick Richards to stay in it. Um, trapped twice the Rockets on, and, and gets back in for the for the second or third skip pass. So nice work from Nick Richards. Possession area stays with Derby, so they'll they'll have the ball on the end line. Yeah. Uh, again, interesting one now. Chive jumping out to Campbell. Big rebound. Yeah. The amount of times we're seeing that ball tipped away now. Malcolm Smith goes inside, a lot of contact, no call. Chive out on the run. He'll pull up before the uh, attempted block. Yeah, disappointing that, isn't it? Three on one. Defender running back. And we get nothing. Interesting sub coming in here, number five, Mark. Sergio 
Valdolomios Gomez. And I know that name really, really well. And his sister, in fact, Manny, has been playing for what's playing for Rockets for three years while she's at uni here. Terrific for the programme. And he's a very, very competent guard. So I think he had 13 and has averaged 13 in the last couple of games. And Jake Wesseling, number two, sporting the beard, the hair and the headband. As Liam again goes to lefty, can't get it to go this time, but like the looks they're giving Liam at the moment. Yeah. And this is Campbell and with a pull gonna up. Miss, he's not going to miss these all game. Jody Campbell is a talented performer. Was it Charmwood? Um, talented performer has really lit up the EBL at times. Um, he's getting a rest now. He's, he's being subbed out, and Charlie Brown coming in. So interesting, though, uh, with back to Sergio, his uh, his father is head coach in ACB at the minute, Mark. Um, wow. So he's got a brilliant, brilliant pedigree. Great family. Um, and really not really good to have these th this level over here with us as well and it's it's uh, good to see him in uh, in the colors of the of the NBL division 1 yeah brilliant to have that sort of pedigree in the league this is an interesting matchup aj's going to like this one they will well a, defended derby yeah, they run a Skip double at him jive He's given that up 8 seconds to go liam's going to shoot that one now that brilliant uh, Mark, I'm going to say it early. I think Liam, Liam's shot selection so far is the best I've seen it in the games where I've, where I've been at. I think his, uh, his ratio of perimeter to inside stuff has been excellent. At, at, six, at 60 now on the stream as well, so thanks to everyone. Yeah, brilliant stuff, guys. Keep sharing the link. Keep telling your friends to join the stream. All the numbers yeah. help. Yeah. 14-13. Derby still lead this by one. This is AJ Carr inside, finds a wide open Mateus Boho, and he's called for the travel. It will stutter on the catch. Yeah. That one's called. Um, Rocket still don't seem to be finding that kind of smooth, cohesive rhythm just yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, um, agreed. Still a bit disjointed. I agree with the comments on uh, Liam. We saw him down in Solent. We were actually spectating for once, which was actually quite nice. Yeah. A little bit disappointing yeah. in Solent. Never caught the speed of the game, but completely yeah. different guy tonight so far. So, yeah, really, really definitely. good to see. They try to go Great back defense. door. Great Richard defense. steals <laughs> another one. I think he's got his hands on three so far, and the game's not seven minutes old. This will be interesting. Matthias, big, big, tough move. Derby bench wants a hook. You can see Alan Keane just over there. He's trying to get his guys in, maybe maybe thinking the same, same lines as us, as how do we get some of the cohesiveness going. Yeah. Ed Potter in the game. Yeah, just draw your attention there to number two, to Jake Wesseling as well, Mark. When we were away at Derby last season, he, I think he hit six threes, if memory serves me right. Um, and he's one of those guys that if you let him get his eye in, which is where I was concerned, because Jody Campbell's had three good wide open looks. If you let Wesseling make one of those, then he's, the bucket's going to seem four foot wide. So we need to just keep our eye on that one, especially when the game's in the balance. Yeah, good note. We'll keep an eye on that on the... Uh on the offensive end as Matthias is now at the line. Makes the second. Yep. I think they were unhappy that they gave two shots on the draw. I think they thought it was on the floor. Yep. Um, and Charles Smith. Say, uh, it's Charles Smith, Malcolm Smith. Too many Smiths. Yeah, what what uh, what Coach Keane is, is really disappointed with. Good luck inside. He's disappointed. Great job, Ed. Great pass by Richards as well. But what did Coach Keane's disappointed with is that we were playing, we're playing against Malcolm Smith. You have to defend him. He's such a talent. And when you play against him, you have to stay and rebound as well. Richards with a great rebound. He plays like a four, Mark. What do you think of that for a comment? Um, I don't think you're right, but... Okay. <laughs> well, that's why I asked you. Uh, yeah. No, he's... Um, well, we, we've seen oh, some of the stats he's up in the... Uh, in the league this year, you know, he can, he's a, he's a confident 20.7 rebound, seven assist sort of guy, right? He can, he can do a lot of things. Um, Absolutely. Has a really nice feel for the game. Yeah. You can see on the defense end, you know, he's, he's not picking people's pockets. He's, um, he's just reading what's happening and getting himself into, into good areas. So do agree with you. He's a, he's a, he's a certainly a talented guard that can do numerous things. Um, just getting a shot of the, uh, 
the crowd here at Rhythm today actually looks pretty good. It's got to be in the couple of hundreds here tonight. Yeah, it's a good feel as well, isn't it? It feels warmer as well. And yeah, let's get some more people in there. Yeah, right. And especially as, as Ed comes in. And Ed, Ed is the, the reason why the cheers are so big for Ed is he's one of the coaches of our under 10s. Um, and all the under 10s are here. And they were the guys that ran out before the game with the nice. senior players. And, you know, that's great to see. Rockets lead this one 19 16, just over two minutes to go in the quarter. And that's yeah, Bowman. Bowman left wide open under the rim. He just yeah. turns and smashes the left hand dunk. Yeah, and I, I like seeing that from, from Allen's team. I like seeing the uh, I like seeing us play that way. Ed to the spin, throws along the baseline. I think that's was it Nick Richards on the far side stepping out of bounds. Alan Keane fired up about something over there. Didn't quite catch what he was uh, fired up about. His but last two words were, pay attention. There you go. Good oh. catch. That's Potter on the rebound. He'll yeah. find Richards on the run out. Ahead to Chive. Early touch for AJ on that block where yeah. he likes to go to work. Tries to dump it down. Probably not the best option in the end. Yeah. Stays with Rockets. 12 on the shot clock. Yeah. So what, what we're looking for here, and let's keep an eye on this mark in the next possession, is we want, want the, when the ball goes in the block, when the, ball go, when the ball goes in the post to AJ, they're doubling, and Alan wants the weak side guy to dive and move the defence away from the other side. He wants him to attack the bucket. So as soon as we see the defence, so Coach Shaw, you can see there, is going to have to try and make something different happen. So... Let's just have an eye on that when we do get the ball inside. Really, really interesting. <laughs> One of our players just gave it back to the ref on an inbound after the ball had been given to play. So no one knew what to do. So we're now savvy. Savvy move that. Yep. Um, just getting asked the live stream, 19-18, 1 minute 20 seconds to go in the first quarters. Nick oh. Richards drives inside, puts up the tough lefty. Um, and that's uh, Darby on the run out again. Yeah, Malcolm Smith. So, so let's look at. So here's the post up to AJ. Weak side we're looking for. AJ's blocked, forcing it over someone. Tries to so, force it. Oliver Stanley stands his ground. Good block. Yeah. Smith's open again. And this is what you got to worry about. Is Got that look. that shot has been made for a number of years. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Derby now up by one. Yeah. 37 seconds to go. Just an update. If you look at live stats, is technical issues in here. So we, we, what we will do is we'll read them. We'll give them to you as a, as a, at the end of the quarter. Good so stuff. Two, so I'd say two broken offenses there, Mark, for Rockets, and they're only down one. Yeah, disappointing. I would imagine towards the end of the uh, towards the end of the quarter. There's a foul off the ball here. Two yeah, shots. That's going to be two shots. So. Been quite a, quite a fast pace. A lot of points given up in this in this first quarter. Neither team feel like they've really shot it well yet. Yeah, but there's a lot of shots going up as well, Mark. Aren't they? So there's, there's definitely the offense is definitely there. Um, I think both teams, Derby, look a little bit more in rhythm at yep. the moment. Um, if we're honest, I think I think Coach Keane's frustrated. The early two fouls for Dixon has probably broken a bit of rhythm. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Malcolm Smith makes the pair, puts yeah. Derby up three, and he'll get 17 seconds of rest. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, he's not in great shape. I looks think so. <laughs> yeah. I I thought it might have been you for a moment there, Mark. Well, straight away, Davis comes in, attacks the rim. Good move. Let's see who ends up here. We'll come back to this last possession, Matt, as we close up this quarter. Yeah. Disjointed. Yeah. Quarter ends. 24 plays 21. The Derby Trailblazers lead this one. Thanks, everyone, for joining us on the live stream. 73 watchers at the moment. That is great. Last possession, Matt, what I was going to say is, yes, good take by Liam. Leaves a lot of time on the clock, though. Would that frustrate you as a coach? Yeah, I, I, I think there's a... It, 
the, the level the level of responsibility that players need to have nowadays, with, especially with so many eyes on them, it gets just gets greater and greater. The type of shot that you can take when you take it, knowing if you've got a two for one opportunity where you can get two shots in the last. 35 seconds th those sorts of things just really it, um, elevate you as a player and we do we're trying to do a lot of this at the academy with the younger guys saying well what's happening in the game what's the moment that you're actually in at the moment what what, what is the situation that the defense are in where where are you on offense have we scored that one is this a good shot to take there's so many things now that need to happen and i think that you see that in liam's shot there like right? there's nothing wrong with the shot and the rhythm of the offense but could have been even better for us. Not just the score, but just the type of shot we take. And I think that's where we're looking for you know, both, both teams, but really for Rockets to, to have, show a maturity in being able to get the ball in the right guy's hands at the right time with shots that he makes. And when that happens, then any team will be fantastic. As we watch the uh, under 14 younger guys try and get a shot, I think this is the birthday boy, I think. <laughs> and he scores. He scores At it. the buzzer. Yeah. Um, just while we're waiting for the uh, side to come out now, yep. Matt. Um, yep. Good. Good news from the uh, from the office this week. Secured a new uh, sponsor for the year. Secure Media Services. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jamie, the owner and founder, big kind of rocket supporter, now yep. takes the jump into sponsorship. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled, Mark. Like, you, you know, sport at this level doesn't happen without without your community, literally. And we, we've built what we think is a, a really special community of people. Um, and, you know, Jamie and his company, Secure Media Services, are, are one of those. And without, you know, waxing lyrical about how important it is, I think everyone knows that. And it's not because it's not a sport doesn't have the money it needs. It's just you need to grow. And it's an important part for the community to support the sports as well when the, the councils have no money in the schools and things like that so it's really important that we get corporations to to jump up with us and it's great to have him on board undoubtedly press release will be live soon if it's not live yet be sure to check out the school media services website when you get a chance delivery logistics they will have had a busy busy time on black friday and now christmas is probably gonna get even worse for them so um give them a shout for any of those needs in your life as we're back yeah. to the action yeah um bowman with the pull-up doesn't get it to go yeah but well defended mark as well rockets really well defended on that one this is davis to the mid-range again just yeah. no. short on that one yeah and the difficult one for that is you've then got sam grant as your rebounder who's you know 17 and then you get chive getting run at downhill can't stop him doesn't use a foul it's that, that, that's the sort of thing that where perhaps Dixon, even though he's on two fouls, you, you'll need to know that's one you can actually use. That's a good one to use because you've not given up a uh, a wide open layup. Absolutely, just looking over to the bench, it looks like Dixon getting set to check back in. Here's Chive, a lot of traffic inside, he tries to throw yeah. to Nick Richards, who's got three on the shot clock. He'll have yeah. to pull up quick. He don't think he's seen it. Yeah. Bailed out just about. Yeah. Gets a foul. I shouldn't say bailed out. That's very impartial of me. Um, is that Earns impartial? Or, or, no, very, very partial, I should have said. <laughs> very partial of me to say that. Um, I just said partially impartial, isn't it? I mean, I, the point being, he got bailed out. <laughs> let's, put it, let's put it down to that. Yeah, yeah, no. No, I understand what you, where you're going with it. Okay, good. Um, okay. So, right, straight into Liam. Grant with an open two short, way out. And you can just see about the rhythm of the shot. You know, Sam's been in 45 seconds. Yep. You know... Now guards um, Wilford downhill again. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. You can see the lead getting a little bit bigger as well. 26-21. Derby opened up to five. Yeah. Um, Coach yeah. Keane hasn't gone particularly deep in the bench yet, but I guess there's, uh, he's probably gone as deep as he is going to at the moment. As I yeah, said, yeah. Powell Mayer's out today. Yeah, that, that injury is difficult. Um, and that that is what Malcolm Smith does. Yeah. And he is five inches shorter than Liam. It was Bowman on the drive, couldn't get it to go. Malcolm Smith keeps it alive. Gets it to Jody Campbell who drives and he'll get the foul, but it's on the on the baseline still. Yeah, and that looks like AJ's second, is it? Uh, I didn't quite catch it. It looks like yeah. his second. Yeah, interesting one that. Yeah, and I would say these are about I think there's a fourth foul where position hasn't been had and then hands and reaching. Could 
good match up that. Yeah, yeah. Mateus you're... and Smith. Good one to watch uh, if you can watch it. If you watch, they'll they'll run out of bounds to get Smith something close to the rim, and thrown off the back of Davis Wilford. Doesn't gain a great, great deal rebound. of advantage. That's good. That's Absolutely, good. Good Liam comes up with a big rebound. This is Mateus who's going to lead the yeah. break into Liam. He'll put it straight on the floor. Find Richards on the perimeter. There Lexi. it is. There it is, Grr. Richards. Great three from Nick Richards. Yeah, and that's a good sign. So now we need to add weight. Rockets need to add weight to that. Make a three, get a stop. Make a three, get a stop. Richards nearly, nearly thought about leaping for that one. So we they go back zone, to the zone. Short corner. Deflected. Out of bounds. Wilford goes inside, doesn't get it to go. Yeah, tough matchup down there for young Sam Grant. There's a, a lot of a lot of big bodies on that. 26 plays, 24. Derby still lead by two. 7.37 in the quarter. Yeah, and if you look how Derby are setting up there, they're almost allowing the first shot to go. Sam Grant for three. There we go. Right off the scalp. He uh, misses everything with the first. Yeah, makes everything with a second. And, and, and Mark, six points in a row, and the storyline's different. Rockets lead by one. Oh, Nick Richards nearly poked another one away. And that's Bowman for three. It doesn't look as a... Oh. Didn't shoot it with a whole lot of uh, confidence. Again, again, I asked our previous commentator, Nick Whitford, with the, when the ball rolls round the rim and goes in, what's the commentator call for that? What... You should really, by now, as an experienced commentator, have a catchphrase for ball getting <laughs> stuck between basket and backboard. And frankly, if I if call it a wedgie, is that a no? No, I, I think okay. the connotations on that for Just the for people that can't actually see the stream and see what happened, that that could be dangerous. <laughs> okay, time out. Get a look at the Rockets bench. Coach Keen again. He's got his team up by one, so he's. Guys have done well. Coach Mouse out mm. of a five-point hole. Yep. Six, I think, wasn't it? At one stage. Six at one stage. Okay, yep. good. So it's, uh, yeah, Rockets the lead this 27-26. 7.05 to go. Yep. Um, so, Matt, again, going around the uh, the club and things that have been going on. We've had a fairly good charity event recently in London. Tell us a bit more about the charity. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. Um, we started the charity three years ago, four years ago, for the reasons that you see in front of you. And there's a number of kids playing now because they're, they're supported by a charity. And without that, the sport just isn't accessible. I think it's ridiculous that the, the cost, the actual cost of parents for their kids to play, let alone at performance level, is running into the high hundreds, if not thousands. So we knew that we needed to do something, and we're fortunate with Steve Turner, um, one of our ex-players and now a real advocate, and probably your generation of age, if you wouldn't mind me saying that. He's, yeah, um, he's now, so younger than me, actually. I think, really? Wow. Um, yeah, but Steve's taken the, the lead on that, and we've, we've set up a, an arm of our charity, the Rocket Sport and Educational Foundation in London, in the city, and there's a lot of ex-players in the city that have been really generous, not only with their, their time, but their support and their advice as well. So, yeah, it's, it's been good, Mark. Yeah, brilliant stuff. If you need more or would like more information on that and on the charity, I think your contact details on the website, you're on all the social media, so get in contact with Matt. He'll be able to put you in touch with the right people. Yeah. As Derby go inside after the uh, timeout, now they lead by one. This is a real back-and-forth game. Yeah. Boho will go on Wilford. Yeah, that's... Easy left-handed size mismatch. Yeah, wow, oh, Sam Grant nearly read that as well. Um, Mark. As Malcolm Smith goes yeah, inside. The, that's, that's the difficult thing, isn't it? Sam's, Sam's on the offensive glass, doing his job, and then we've got no position underneath and not looking, almost like you're not aware that Malcolm Smith, who's been doing this for a living, um, will run the floor. And I think you're probably going to do want to do more than a touch foul on that guy because he'll yeah, probably score. Absolutely. Um, second foul there. I think that was on Sam. I think they called that on Sam Grant. So, as we just saw, Coach Keen coaching up Sam Grant as he uh, went for the steal, tried to get back in the plate. Yeah. We'll have some uh, live stats for you in the next break. We'll get some score leaders in there when when uh, we have a chance to go through. It's Derby who lead by two thirty-one. 
29 with 6.27 to go. This is Richards. He will go left, try and get inside. It's blocked. Yeah, Oliver Stanley, I think, got his fingers on that. Stanley's been very good in this first half. As Wilford tries to drop it off to Smith. Yeah, Liam that. Davis will pick that one up. And this I is Dixon. Yeah, he's going to look to find... I mean, that's just Jody Campbell. Oh, spiked away by Davis. Love to see that from Liam Davis. I think he's uh, yeah. six nine, long. Probably doesn't block as many shots as he could, but I just love love his enthusiasm going for that one. Yeah, and I think I think it's something we're starting to see more of. And I, I don't know. Stanley I don't know if you've caught. Yeah, Stanley. Stanley inside is a real handful at the moment. He, he does a really good job of snaking his body and he, he uses the opposition, just gets enough leverage to get a shot off. And I think, I think we're fortunate here to be, uh, for him not to have about six more points. He's missed a couple at the rim. So let's keep an eye on that one and see what, what Coach Keane does or, what the, or what, what the guys do to defend him better in the next, next stanza. Absolutely. So this is uh, Rockets on offense again. And Derby have feel like they've defended well, quite happy to match up. One on one with the uh, with Reading, yeah. Smith and both of his Richards. He'll go to the yeah. short pull up and make yeah, it nice that, from Nick Richards. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And what I like about that mark is Matthias attacked the attack the attack the paint. Saw that they'd flooded it. Dropped it to Nick. One dribble, little medium range, good touch touch pull up. Look There's out! Those hands again, and this will be Nick Richards who will steam in for the left handed layup. Wow. That was like was a veteran layup. I thought he was going to rip the ring off. <laughs> I was nearly out of my seat. Yeah. Anyway, great defense by Nick Richards and Rockets will go back to the zone, maybe by design. Not yeah. confident on the shooting ability. And, and I don't think that's missing. Nope. Yeah. I was about to say, not confident in the shooting oh. ability of Derby, but apparently they can finish. And this is Richards on the run out. He'll miss, but it's Liam Davis on the follow. Yeah, that's Chive, Obadiah and Dar. Yeah. Power up on the bench. They like to see that. Great job. There's Ed Potter right there, Mark. That, that's the blood of the team right there. Um, taking charges, doing the stuff that, that no one likes. Ed, Ed jammed his finger. He tells us on the backboard, um, jammed his finger in the Essex game away. And he was really, really important in that game. And, and it is in every game. He, he gives you something as the kind of fighter, battler, warrior, whichever tag you do on it. But if you're a young player and you watch this sort of thing, then... There is so much that can be said for this type of guy that is skilled, but his skills are not always in the ones where you're looking at the ball swishing through the bucket. He's doing all the other stuff. Davis will go one on one with Smith, who is yeah, the right hand. He's gone to the right time. hand, which didn't look too good to me. It didn't look like he was comfortable with that one. It didn't look good, but I remember us having this conversation where it's, it's what he needs, doesn't he? He needs a he needs a, a a counter move. He needs something a little bit different. Yeah. Lefty hook looks good. If he had one sort of counter, I think he'd be yeah, quite difficult. Yeah, that's not the to guy guard. to leave open. And that's yeah. Bowman on the follow. And it's Richards out on the run again. He'll just lay it in with the right hand. Nick Richards is like the energizer bunny this evening. He is everywhere. Great work Absolutely. from Nick. This is Wesseling looking at it, and there's another tussle inside. It's Smith and Davis. There's been a few of those off the ball uh, calls, but that's that's the player that Malcolm Smith is, and that is Liam Davis' third foul. Yep. And it's still Rockets by one here. They lead 37-36. 3:43 to go in the quarter. Bowman goes corner, is now skipped out to Gomez. Misses. AJ can't pull the board. Wesseling looks inside to Gomez, not there. This is still Bowman yeah, up this top. Is, this is four shooters, well, three shooters around around Smith yeah, is what they've gone for with Derby. It'd be interesting to see if we can now find, find well, trying to post up Dixon. Clearly, with the uh, yeah. the hot hand, they go wanted to go back to Nick Richards. Ed wanders over. He's been told to clear out by Alan Keane. Yeah, I think this is what we said at the beginning of the game about Richards, Mark. Like his competitiveness is 
probably one of the best things he has in his in his tank, and he's a skilled practitioner as well. So we've seen him knock down the three. You've seen him make a transition right hand, lay up left hand. You've seen him steal the ball, rebound. He's doing a lot of things. And I think Coach King's finding the right way to, to actually coach him. Matthias goes oh, three. Oh, oh, and there is yeah. nothing but net on that one. That yeah. was as pretty as it gets from uh, yeah, Matthias. Yeah, that's his second one. But this is uh, that's their, one of their best shooters as well. Wesling and still need to keep an eye on this. This is... Um, Good what look a great pass. What a great a day time. Great, out. great Derby pass. Trailblazers. Let's it's 42 36, 244 to go in the quarter, and the Rockets are getting it going a bit. Derby go a little bit cold, different lineup on the floor. Yep. Rockets get going. What do you think, Matt? I think that that was a great pass by Carr. It was even better than a sports car. Okay, let's yeah, not yeah. talk to you as much as we've been talking yeah, to you. Yeah, no, I was really trying to say you could have put a bus through there instead of a car. I was really trying hard, but that's all I had on, that's all I had on me. I'm sorry about that, but it, what, what we had, we had the pick and roll on the wing. Dixon throws it to, to not to the roller immediately, but throws it to AJ. As a really good scorer, they have to come out on him. AJ threads the needle and, well, Ed does what he does best. Screens, goes to the basket, finishes the play. So I, you know, I think it's really good to see that. And I, I just want to rewind you back to looking at when we try to get Dick, uh, we try to post up Nick Richards. Uh, we haven't seen much of that this year. And we talked about this in the last stream we were on, is how's the best way for this team to play and how's the best way for us to coach? Um, and I think that Alan's done a, a really, really terrific job. And if there's any other coaches out there looking, you'll see the team changing. You'll see the different system being played, different offences for different guys. You're really starting to see that. I think one of the guys that does a great job of that is Matt Guyman. We were witness to that at Solon and with a terrific point guard running the play. But it's really good to see. And, and it'll be interesting to see now what Matt Shaw's done out after his timeout as well. So let's have a look at the coaching battle as well. Um, and he's come... Westling's come out and so but Wilf Wilf has come in. back in. Yeah, so. needed the ball handler, didn't it? Yep. And Ross Stepney in the game, and this is a this is really good for us. And look at that. Ed goes in with the big trees and comes up with it. So oh AJ. AJ, AJ oh, coast to way. coast. Great AJ from, coast to coast. Great from AJ. Didn't Carr. take the car, he went straight there himself. How about Could, that? Can we put an end to the car puns? I might have one more. All right. Okay. Um, it's uh, yeah. Rockets again, 44-36. They lead 2.17 to go in the second quarter. As you said, interesting uh, coaching matchup. Yeah. Um, Matt Shaw goes with a different lineup. Alan comes out with a half-court press instead of the uh, three-quarter court press just to upset the rhythm a bit. Just as we see... Sergio Gomez on the line for Derby. Again, while we've got a minute on the, uh, while Sergio's on the line, let's try and get these watches up. 75 at the moment, brilliant numbers. So thank you every single person who is watching this live stream, but give it another share, send it to a friend. Let's see if we can get to 100 by the end of the game. Yep, into the last two minutes of the half. And there's oh, Wilford. Wilford. What yep. a play by Wilford. Gets Gomez on the run out and he will put it in. Unbelievable yeah. from Trey Wilford on that far side. Yeah. And that's the frustration, isn't it? You come out now, it's a four point game and it shouldn't be. It should still be eight and we should be building that lead. And, yep. And, and that's. And stolen as well. Nearly. Bolo trying to exploit the mismatch in size, but Wilford, clearly a very good defender. Probably doesn't mind that. Just as we see Oliver Stanley back in the game for Derby. As you just mentioned, Rocket's still up four. Yeah. They'll go cross screen. Cross screen, now down screen. AJ comes out. He's now... It looks long to me. Ed's going to make a meal. At me. Ed's got another possession in him. As always. This would be a great time to say that we are open to player sponsorship. Yeah, especially if you, for, yeah. if you do want to sponsor Ed Potter. Oh, absolutely. Oh. What, what sort of company would, would he fit, Mark? Some like, re, you know, if you're doing 12 hour days. Oh, yeah. Mechanic. Yeah, something hard like working. that. Hard working. Stepney with a Stepney possession. Stepney on the floor. Called for a travel, but the Rockets bench are off the, 
off their seats. They love that from Ross Stepney. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, I, it's really difficult, I think. Just as we, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Coach, coach Keane over there. Yeah. Still directing traffic, pleased with his bench. A yeah. few laughs over there. Yeah, delicate conversation as well with the officials. Rockets back to the zone. Yeah. Wilford, who's been very good going left. That's it's Campbell. Gonna, yeah, he's not going to miss many of them. No. Nope. And, and some of that is, you know, some of that's where, where Ross is diving in to help. Yep. Stepney goes back door would have been open. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say quickly here as well for us to keep an eye on this is this is a very difficult game to officiate because there's so many hands, mm -hmm. especially in the zones and some very athletic guys are covering and is it ball, is it hand, what what is it? Is it is it interrupting the flow of the play? What what's going on? So it's really it's a really tough one for us to actually there it goes Stepney. Great pass. Dixon will knock that one in. We were right behind that one and had yeah. absolutely no doubt that one was going in. And, you know, Mark, uh, Ross Stepney made that play. Absolutely. Stanley inside again. Very, very good this half. Yeah. Yeah, and it's... Uh it's tough when you're, you're you're balancing your head against Jody Campbell. Easy. Oh. Oh. Just can't finish at the rim, but he'll come up with it. There's that hustle play, and there's yep, the there foul. As I say, Ed Potter, yeah. available for sponsorship. <laughs> Absolute grafter. If he suits your brand, if you're a grafting brand, Ed Potter is yeah. your guy. Absolutely. And, you know, Tintin, David Tintin Watts that played here for a while and graced the BBL and everywhere else and he would always say about guys and in fact he's from up in the Midlands as well, he would talk about Grafton and his, as his thing and Ed from Manchester really or just outside of Manchester and if his mum is either here or is watching then give us a shout because I think he's from a tiny little village just outside of Manchester but everything he does is just that's the way that he is and it's great to see we would call it blue collar right, we would call it that but it's also going to make these two free throws mark as well and just or make one of these free throws mark. What that's called there, mate, is a commentator's curse. Don't and believe in it. Just delivered on it. Don't believe in it. Watch him swish this one. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Ed goes over for 2 at the line. Yeah, tough Rockets to come up back two, six seconds to go. Campbell goes to the step back off left. Yeah. They will pull it. There's a foul right at the end of the play. It's Stepney on Wilford with basically no time on the clock as we get a close-up shot of Wilford there. So Trey Wilford will go to the line with no time on the clock, I would presume. Yeah, and referees are conferring. And they're now. This is good officiating here. Because if that was a foul, it can't have been on 0, 0.0 seconds. No, I agree. There should be some time on the clock, presumably 0.5 or something like that. Yeah. There wasn't a lot. I had, had my own the clock and yeah. the play. So it sounds like the under 10s have got the idea there. They are practicing the uh, Rockets Rumble. <laughs> the Rockets Rumble. As it's now known. Is that a real thing? Yep, definitely. Love that. Definitely. It's been going Bailey for years. Bailey is whipping up a storm for the Rockets Rumble. Yep. yep. There's and a lot of pressure on uh, free throws with 0.5 left on the clock or whatever it might be. Yep. The Rockets Rumble. Oh, it's getting loud in here yep. too. Yep. And the coach is talking. So those of you that can't see it, Matt Shaw's having a long discussion about this with the with the lead official. And Matt Shaw is just checking that we got all the information. Presumably the refs That's, will count 0.5. I, I think they'll just count it in and Wilford makes the first. Wilford. Yep. Ignoring the Rockets rumble. 
Difficult to do that. Very difficult, but he's, we've seen he's some well. fine players being put under pressure here at the meet. <laughs> oh. Two for two, timeout from Alan Keane. Yeah. I didn't quite hear from our arena announcer, Ben Fisher, how many seconds were left on the clock. He's over on the scorer's table, so yeah. he would know. I don't think we do. There's still some conferring going on as we get a shot of Alan Keane here. Um, he will tr try and draw up something. Rockets lead this one by one. It's 48 plays, 47. AJ's mum has been on a constant barrage of the officials. <laughs> she is not happy. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who would agree with you. Yeah, well, you're allowed to do that, aren't you? That's part of the joy yeah. of watching. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. and I'm sure there's been some people rebuffering and trying to pull back the stream to have a look and just see exactly what's going on. Um, I, 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 you know what, I've got to disagree. I don't think it's terrible officiating. I think there's a lot of stuff that is very, very difficult to call. We're now Basketball England and, and NBL 1 are now investing in three referees in every game and the referees are monitored and all their games are sent in. So, you know, it's, it is an easy, it's an easy thing to, for us to say about that and, and maybe we should be a bit more careful about our the way we're describing it, because I think this is a really difficult game to play. It's difficult for the players. It's difficult for the coaches. Um, it's hard enough for the officials anyway to do a game at this sort of speed. So I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's terrible. I think there's just there's a partisan crowd here as well. They're making a load of noise, and when things don't go your way, it's easy to remember the last time it didn't go your way as well. So but let's just remember that we're uh, you know let's try and make this as a, a positive as experience as we can be for everyone. Yeah, I think, think it's been all right. Yeah, definitely. absolutely entitled to your opinion as a spectator. Think definitely, been, definitely. I think they've been fairly good this evening, though, this, yeah. the, the officials. They'll go middle to Liam, kick to Boho, not enough time to get that one away. Yeah. I have no idea how much time was actually left on the clock. Anyway, end of the half. Yep. 47 plays 47. We are tied at the half. Um, Matt, who stood out for you for uh, Derby in this first half? Uh, I think Wilford had a, di a really good good first half, like yep. just really active, got in lots of different ways. Um, Malcolm Smith relatively quiet as well. I'll give you some of the numbers as well. We're, get we're getting those sent in to us at the moment. Um, but I think we've just got this. It's such a difficult team to play against. I mean, I think as Reading are as well now. But when you see Oliver Stanley has just made a real nuisance of himself. Yeah, absolutely which is his job. Um, and I think he's kept them pay on pace with the scoring. I mean, 47 for both teams. They're on for 94, which is, you know, that's a lot. But the, the league scoring has gone up quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, I, I think those two guys have really done a great job. And, and Jody Campbell, they made a couple of threes, which, you know, they're, they're going to happen. It's going to happen. He is a good enough player to make those. And, and Alan will be disappointed with how easy that was as well. And then for the Rockets, um, yeah, a few in there. But Nick Richards getting going in that second quarter. Yeah, I think Nick gives you the gives gives the team life, and I think Ed's come in and just just shown the importance of possessions. And I think we're now in a world where people are slightly forgetting that every possession is important, not just a you know the one where you you make the fall away three or the one where you get the game winner. It's just like you know this probably a hundred offences and a hundred defences in these games now and, and Ed is you know generally coming up with positives on each side of them so you know let's not let's not lose sight of that because I think Ed's doing a, a really good job for us we've got Sachin he's, he's appeared behind us yeah our roving reporter who we may see in the second half yeah um, with that in mind I'm gonna cut to our halftime break yep um, thanks everyone who joined us in the first half up to a kind of nearly 80 watchers, so that was really, really good. Um, hope everyone is well. Make sure in the second half, tell us where you're checking in from. That would be good to hear. And anyway, we will be back in about 12 minutes approximately, so we'll see you in 12 minutes. Yep. See you soon.
a bit more about that than I did before. Brilliant. Steph, thanks for joining us. Mark, thank you. One, two, three, yep. And uh, welcome back to our Rockets live stream against Derby Trailblazers. Um, Mark's just going to be joining us in with 30 seconds. It'll give me time to run through the leading scorers. So for Rockets, Nick Richards with 11, Matthias Boho with 10, AJ Carr with 8, Ed Potter with 6, and Liam Davis with 6. And for the Derby Trailblazers, Oliver Stanley leads all scores on 11. Treshawn Wilford with 10 and Malcolm Smith with 9. Um, stats that stand out is rebounding Trailblazers 25 to 18 plus 7 on the rebound. So Coach Keane will want to make that a change in the second half. He'll want us to see competing better. And at the beginning of this second half, we have Rockets with a blistering 50% on 5 for 10 shooting from the 3 and 6 for 8 from the line. So Reasonably good percentages, and we're off and running. First possession to Rockets. AJ Carr with a hand off to Chive, hands it back to AJ, spins inside. Foul called on Trey Sean Wilford. That will be his third, I believe. 15 seconds to go. Just joining you again, Matt. Hey, Mark. Good to see you back. Thank you very much. One of my uh, busier half-time breaks, that one. Yeah, three, three interviews. But yes, all good. And Chive, Carl, he's going to shoot that one. AJ is zero for four from the three. I don't think that'll be a stat that he ends the game with. Um, Wilford putting the spin on Chive, who denies it. A lot of contact there from Chive. He earns himself his first foul. We just talked about the leading scorers, Mark, in the first half. And saying that Rockets are down seven on the rebounds. So let's see if that happens. Rockets in zone. Wilford corner. Goes baseline. Blocked. And Lots here we of go. Contact, but nothing Let's called. See if we got a transition. Chive, nice move. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, that's good to see. Good defence. Good challenge at the rim by Matthias, who's a, a, an unacknowledged shot blocker. Be interesting to see now. Yeah, they went Stanley to Smith, and he got tied up underneath. Campbell starts defense on Dixon. Derby in man to man. What a great pass from Boho. <laughs> AJ with the athletic reverse as well. So good start to the game here. Campbell straight off the scalp. 
straight off the scalp. So Campbell will, Campbell's just made another three. Chive to the pull-up, long, cleared yeah. by Campbell. Yeah. Derby off and running again. Tries to drive inside, a lot of bodies there, and it's Smith on the follow. He puts it in, and oh, Campbell that, goes down hard. That looks yeah, a that, little bit worrying. Yeah, that doesn't look good. And Derby Physio is coming on. And let's just hope this isn't... Too difficult. I think it's his left ankle. That gives us time, Mark, to just brush up on the uh, on the half time stuff as well, the stats. And there's yeah. a couple of things that came out of there for me where AJ was 0 for 3. Um, and Rockets shot eight free throws only in the first half compared to 12 from Derby and most of those in about the first six minutes as well so I think that that sort of displayed something and I think it's something that were Rockets and the, the big guys shall we say Matthias and Liam only shot two between them AJ as well he only shot two so we've shot four free throws from our most physically most imposing guys so that's something that I think we've uh, we'll need to look at and, and the other side of Ed Potter comes in and gets four free throws and gets fouled four times so Ed Potter got fouled four times, whereas other guys that have played twice the amount of minutes are not being aggressive enough offensively. So it, they become easy to defend unless you're shooting the ball really, really well. So I think that's something that Co Coach Keane is talking about. He'll also be talking about the, the first minute of the play where we've got the Campbell coming off a wide open screen and no one challenging it. So there's a couple of things in there that will need to be solved before we, before we go into anything else and before we make things happen. What's yep. up on your uh, on your agenda? Well, I was just speaking of uh, Ed Potter. Ed's mum has tuned in from the, from the Wirral. Ah, the Wirral. Okay, and Ed, yeah. And Ed's dad is also keen to find a sponsor to take over for a lifetime of support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we, I think we share that pain there, <laughs> there Liz. Um, <laughs> Fantastic comment, and yeah. yeah. I think any basketballing parent will absolutely relate to that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I'm sure it's not even the Wirral. I'm sure there's even smaller than that. So um, back to it, Chive. Nice little move underneath. Goes hesitation yep. against Oliver Stanley. Then underneath, a little rim protect and finishes. Yep. And I, I think this game's going to need need Chive, Mark. I think he's even the, even though he's young. We've got certain foul trouble. But I think it's going to need his, uh, his toughness. Smith with another pull-up. Great position from Malcolm Smith. Yep. And then uh, just goes to the pull-up. Yeah, Hope Chive gets going a bit. Could do with the energy, I think. Yeah. Richards to Dixon. Dixon will go screen and roll with Boho. Tries to skip. Doesn't get there. And that's Bowman on the, uh, on the steal after it's fumbled around a little bit. Yeah, Bowman, terrific athlete. Smith changes his mind mid-air, yep. goes to Gomez on that left wing, yeah. finds Smith high. They go high-low. There's a lot of Rockets bodies down yeah. there. Defended that well, actually, Mark. Defended that really well. That was looking for high-low stuff. And that's, oh. and that's Gomez on the rip. Goes coast to coast and puts it in. Nice play from Sergio Gomez, and that will put... The visitors up three, 56-53 with 6.27 to go. AJ gets Stanley off his feet. Chive yeah. way off. He's, he's definitely hit on that one, though. Yep. Getting a good look at the uh, Rockets crowd there. Arena announcer Ben Fisher also over there. Yep. Good crowd tonight, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good good feeling, good vibe. We've got under-14s uh, are coming in, uh, in their droves. The under-10s are here as well. Um, under under tens playing a little CVL league. It's a we haven't had an under under tens team for a while. It's great to see under twelves playing in the national league. Under fourteens currently top of their league. Sixteens top of their league. Um, so some real some real good pedigree on its way up, Mark. Yeah, good to see. And Rockets quite happy to stay in this zone just as Gomez pulls the trigger from three and misses. But it's a combination of Smith and Stanley down low who go back up with the offensive rebound and certainly. The offensive glass still continues to hurt the Rockets for yeah. Derby. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I would imagine they're nearly in double figures offensive rebounds now. 
Dixon drives. AJ can't handle the pass. Richards follows. Back rims it. Can't get it to go. Derby are out on the break again. Wilford spins. The tricky left-hander goes all the way to the bucket and scores. And it's time out. Alan Keane as Derby lead this one. 60 to 53. 5.31 to go. Yeah, I think just pick up as well on the, sort of the, the way that Derby have built that lead as well, Mark, was nothing spectacular. No threes made. Just everything. Everything was at the rim and where offensive rebounds and everything was off on the rim. So I think you, we've got a lot of work to do in terms of like bravery. And, you know, without Boho and without Ed in the game right now, we seem to lose a physical mm -hmm. warrior competitor. Um, and that's got to be something that Alan will look at in terms of getting his, getting his groupings right um, and making sure that, you know, all the... The best coaches are just they're looking at their teams, just finding their way through, seeing, well, OK, well, we've been down in holes before we've come back. We've, had, we've built leads and we've done well. This is a very, very difficult Derby team to play. You know, no, no one in the division will be looking at this team and saying this is a team that you're going to beat easily. They've got two terrific Americans. They've got very good Spanish guard now. He's got good tempo, really good patience, and two very other good British guys, good athletes, and good guys coming off the bench as well. Um, looks like Jody Campbell's not going to come back in this game at the moment. He's on the physio bed, getting quite a lot of support for that. What looks like a left ankle, but for those of you that are at home, I don't think it's too bad. Um, they're, they're icing it and strapping it. So, Agreed. Doubtful who will return. Wilford yeah. in the passing lane. Easy, just read it. Yep. He'll lay that in with the right hand. Yeah, what's your thoughts on the, on the dribble handoffs, Mark? I mean, I like them in offense. I, I, I think it works. The problem with, I think, what we see from, and again, this is me being a little bit judgmental, but people often from the American system way of playing is that Liam's been told to dribble to the corner, turn and pass it back. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that there's a guy standing in the way, but he does it anyway, because that's what's been, uh, what's been instilled in him. So, yeah, agree. It, it's, um, I, I think they're good, but it's a real skill, you know. It, it's uh, the read... The understanding, it, it all goes together. Just as we see Bowman called for a push in the back of Nick Richards. Yep. Ball will stay with the with the Rockets, as you might be able to see in the screen there. There's Jody Campbell in the background on the treatment table. Chive just over half court with AJ Carr. Yeah. So let's see the isolated AJ now going against... And just doesn't get the roll, so Rocket's still struggling to get good offense in this one. They've only scored six points in seven minutes. We see that skip to Wilford, and he's straight away will nail it. Yeah. And this lead has crept up to 12. 65 plays 53. Derby lead this one with four minutes to go. Dixon looking to get the Rockets back in. It's Wilford again with another steal. Yep. Yeah. Um, really smart with 2v2. They go to the pull-up three. This could be huge. It's just in and out. Yeah. That could have been extremely dangerous for the Rockets. They need a score and a couple of stops. AJ, can he stop the run? He yep, does. There it is. Great from AJ Carr, who's nothing but net from straight away three. Yeah, brings it back to nine. And, and a turnover. turnover. Good hands by the media table. Just as we cut to the treatment table, as you can see, improvement. Jody Campbell's off the treatment table now. He's just yep. walking gingerly behind the Rockets bench. Yep. And interesting to see what the scoreline does now with Ed and Matthias in with Nick, Liam and AJ. Oh, yeah. Interesting so This brings lineup. AJ to the four. Uh, sorry, AJ to the three. And, and that's frustrating. Liam's, Liam's got a post up. Liam had a post up deep and we couldn't find him. So it's the right thing to do though, Mark. I think it's, you could see straight away, we now go Ed at the four with Liam, with Liam at five and then AJ at almost at two and it puts Richards guarding 
Wilford as well. It's a very interesting lineup. Yeah. And the irony is, is they've gone big bodies, two, three, five. Malcolm yep. Smith still gets himself an offensive rebound and puts it back in. But very, very interesting lineup. Yep. Like I said, that's Richards at the one, Boho at the two, AJ's at the three, Potter and um, Liam Davis will take up the four and five. Yeah, and it's interesting where we've got um, Smith again, just in and out. AJ yeah. needs to pull this one, and he yeah. does. And I think this, I think that's the first rebound we've seen by by Rockets, where they've really taken it off the rim. Matthias steals on back. Ed comes, gets blocked, gets blocked again by Stanley twice in a row. Three on its way. Yeah. Short this time. Rockets need some control. It's Richards who has to be the one to get this Rockets offense going. AJ goes to the pull up, dials his own number, front rims. Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be a smidge frustrating for Alan Carr at the moment. His team is down nine, but it's a, it, it, I keep saying it, it's a very interesting lineup. What's he going yeah. for, Matt? Yeah, it's. I think it's difficult because we're, we, we've now got this group in and we've shot the three again twice earlier. Even though AJ's made it, that means that Liam hasn't had an inside touch. Matthias hasn't. With, this is a really good group for Rockets here. They're, and they're defending well. They've got two, three stops in a row now. Um, and, and with those stops, we've ended up with... There you go, third stop in a row. And there's a big battle underneath between... Potter and Smith. Yeah, exactly. And it's, Ed, uh, Ed gets called for his fourth foul. And I, I was going to call this earlier, Mark. It's really interesting that with that group where Coach Keane has much more confidence in Ed defending against Malcolm Smith than maybe he does with some of the other guys with AJ or with Liam. So it's quite interesting to see Wide open three, Wilford misses it. That's a great rebound by Matthias. And now we're, we're going with Nick Richards now. Oh, no, Good Nick one. Richards at the one, and there's two shots from Matthias. So Richards at the one, which is a, which is a, a new thing for Allen. So he'll handle the ball a little bit. Matthias will handle the ball a little bit. AJ will handle the ball a little bit. Let's just see if this can bring back a little bit of balance. 56-65, down nine, Matthias with two to go. Need to get the scoring rhythm back up. Rockets only scored nine in the quarter so far. Still nine. If you are joining us, 65 plays 56, 144 to go in the third quarter. Let's go nephew, Malcolm Smith supporter in the house, so good to have you with us. Hope our uh, impartiality is coming through. Appreciate you joining us from wherever you are in the world. Yeah, wherever it is. If, it's, if you nickname yourself Suntown, we can imagine it's not England. <laughs> Very good point. Yeah. Okay, good switching by Rockets. Can this they stay with it? Wilford is so quick. Yeah, and gets it quick off the floor as well, Mark. Not just, not just quick there. And AJ screws his face up there, but, you know, someone's just run you off. I wasn't sure if AJ tipped it into his own basket. That's why I thought maybe. I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, possibly. As we see Matthias Boho down low. He'll try and force his way in. Extra pass to Sam Grant. Good shooter from three. Misses yeah. this one. Malcolm Smith, big rebound. Finds Bowman. Yeah. Ten down, going into the last minute. Yeah, really interesting uh, third quarter. I'm not sure if you just caught hold of that with uh, Matthias and... We've had more times where we've tried to slap the ball and gone quickly. That's a great rebound by AJ. And that's yeah, and that's Wilford just, again. Yeah, exactly. It's just not it's just not being good with the possession. Pretty easy one that to cool down right in front of us. It's Nick Richards on the foul. Yeah. Osborne Richards checks in. Let's go, Nick. Get to the basket, he says. I will 
agree and certainly take some of that. I'm interested, Nick Richards, a Delaware guy, did my undergraduate degree in Delaware, the 302. Oh, right. What's one the 302 mean? Area code. There's only I one area code. I cannot believe in, you're doing area code. In the whole of... Well, it's interesting because it's one area code for the whole of Delaware. That's how small the state is. Oh, wow. Other states have multiple area codes, but not so Delaware. So it's postcodes, is it, to us? Is that what you're I know, suggesting? phone area codes. 302. Okay. Yep. yep. Every day's a school day, isn't it? It is when you're with me, mate. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So if there is anyone from Delaware checking in, give me a shout. Spent a lot of time there. Four years of my life. I yep. think I'm particularly fond of the petrol station Wawa that do oh. good food. They'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, back to the game. Rockets <laughs> trailing. Need, need a bucket here at the end. They've missed, missed Liam twice. And you know what? He's that's gonna that's put just it the best thing to happen. That's the best thing to happen right there. Good energy from Liam. Gets yep. his own board, puts it in. Yeah, and you know... You know, what, what, what Liam was frustrated about actually was there. It's just the perimeter guys have missed him about three times. And he's worked really hard to get himself a good space and get good body position. And it had to come into him for the third time. He's had a three-second call on him as well. So, you know, we're, Alan's obviously looking for him to get us back into this, to get it under 10. That's another miss free throw. Chive with the rebound. Richards will drive to the rim this time, throws it up. And oh! it's a huge follow from Liam Davis! On the buzzer as well. Liam wow. Davis goes full incredible Hulk mode and tries to pull the rim off. Yeah. Well, that got everyone awake, didn't it? Blimey. And in, in, a, in a really disappointing quarter, I think, 14-point score, but in the last 10 seconds, there's... This game's alive and well. This, you know, Derby come up with a possession there and make a three, and this is a you're looking at a long fourth quarter. So I'm really interested, Mark. That that's a, that could be the buzz that we needed. Yeah, love that from Liam Davis. He's a uh, just one of those guys. If we can, if you can really get him going, he's a uh, very, very useful. Good energy, long, athletic. On loan from the uh, Bristol Flyers at the moment. Yeah, and had a visit from Coach Kapoulis as well, uh, from Coach K, as he's affectionately known. I don't think it's not the Duke head coach. Well, I need to let you know that. Andreas Kapoulis from Bristol came down and kept an eye on his low knee and seeing what else we, we need to support him with so he can be go uh, maybe maybe move on next year to Bristol and, and actually function in the BBL. So we're, we're really hoping that there's... the these sorts of things that you've just seen from Liam are going to get more more frequently and better and I think we've seen some good signs from him. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, from the last time I saw him in person, which was Solent uh, two or three weeks ago. Yeah. Big, big uh, improvement so far. Um, Matt, there's been plenty, again, lots of activity, um, certainly around your family recently. Um, awarded, yeah. was it Family of the Year? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was husband of the year that I was going to get, but apparently my wife told me that I was incorrect. Wishful thinking. Uh, yeah, wishful thinking on everyone's behalf. Um, yeah, we were very fortunate and very surprised to be nominated and to win the Pride of Reading Family of the Year Award for the work that's gone on. And, and the irony is it isn't done by five, six of us. It's done by hundreds of people um, and thousands over the years. So it's a like everyone should say at these times it's a real thank you to everyone that's been part of the program and we're just the ones that have, uh, have been proud enough to keep our hands on the reins and, and make sure that it goes in the right direction so yep thanks for picking it up mark it was um it was a really humbling experience actually and i am significantly taller than chris tarrant i'm just, glad I'm just, I'm just saying that very, that, was, that wasn't the only reason I was happy. Very but. understated, I think, if you were to measure the impact your family's had <laughs> on the thousands of people. It's huge, so yeah. don't be so understated. It's a, a very well-deserved award. And as I say, if you start to measure it in experiences and the number of people you've affected and you know potentially the number of people you've put on the right path instead of the wrong path, I think it would start growing into the hundreds and then into the thousands of people and children now so yeah congratulations to you and the family yeah thanks mark really appreciate that so we're back to the action yeah after that huge end to the third quarter from Liam davis it's 71 plays 61 9 35 to go um rockets trail by 10 need a big push in this quarter honestly like it just 
it's just so frustrating where you run you run your system of offense and uh, so two situations in a row Matthias turns it over to the quickest two guys possibly in the league and then Chive throws it in the air to Liam who has not had, had himself grounded in the front court so that's a frustrating time and uh, brings Ed back in on his fourth and Ben Dixon so let's see if we can get a bit of time out of Ed here um, and Ed's energy as well and Dixon's uh, competitiveness could well be the good balance for the remainder of this game great D by Nick Richards on the dribble yeah but it's Oliver Stanley yeah. again in one of those positions nice cut along the baseline just dumped down by Wilford to him yeah um, Wilford's been very impressive to me actually this game he's um, there's definitely some contact under there yeah Potting exactly. his local back to Wilford he's been you know his his speed and his quickness is is, is caused us a lot of problems yeah and that's Smith inside yeah can't get rebound Dixon will throw to Liam great idea to get rid of it but just wasn't I an ideal feed for Liam Davis and it's Potter on the drive and there's a foul and it looks like it's on Malcolm Smith who seems very very unhappy with that call yep yeah Potter back to the line where he belongs at the moment need to make these yeah more very good in minutes with Ed I'll, I didn't get to share some of the uh, time I spent with uh, Coach Keane after the Barking Abbey game where yeah. um, Ed Spark does and I uh, referred to him as an as a, an unlikely hero and Alan yeah. said that he would allow me to call him an unlikely hero yeah. as the only person in the world because actually that's so far from the truth and he sees real value in Ed and what uh, Ed yeah, does. Yeah, so he's a likely hero, right? Or he's just Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. he said, no, not to me. He said, it may, it may be unlikely to you and I'll let you say that but he actually says that not unlikely at all. Yeah. As Gomez takes one yeah. off the dribble. Huge yeah, shot. Yeah, and challenged as well. And yeah, another one by Wilford ran down. Another one. I I don't think I've seen anyone run and get, get as many steals here. He's got at least three of these. And it just shows a great effort. And it's, uh, you know, Rockets are 15 down. Yeah. And AJ. 13 now. Good shot by AJ goes turn around, good footwork. Um, but yeah, dangerous time here for the Rockets. Down 13, 750 to go. There's people yeah. wide open, and that's Stanley with an easy dunk inside. Yeah. Yeah. And the lead goes back to 15. 80 plays 65 with 737 to go. This is Davis at the free throw line. Yeah. Too quick for him. And Derby are off and running again. Gomez layup underneath and it's counted because somebody uh, touched the backboard no no idea where that is time out 15 down 7.30 to go interestingly Rockets without a foul now in the first three minutes yeah it, like I said very very difficult time here if you're um, as that's now what 17 now yes um, if you're Coach Keen, what are you saying in this timeout? It's a difficult one because, uh, you know what I would be saying? I, I, I'm looking up at the board thinking we haven't had a foul. So are we competing defensively where we need to be? And I would suggest that we're not because we're even though you get scores, you really have to get yourself and, and add weight to it. And it doesn't look as though this Derby team are not going to score. So the, that's the difficulty is on possession after possession, you're seeing teams getting shots off and missing, which is what we said in the first three minutes. It, w it didn't look as though we were controlling them defensively it looked more like they were getting ahead and and that was part of the issue when we went in that that run at the beginning without without Matthias on the floor without Ed on the floor we just couldn't stop them scoring it was a very it was a very difficult group as you said earlier this derby team very talented has big runs in them just quickly to clear up that last call um, just for some of our viewers who might not know why the last basket was given what happened on that last play yeah uh, was that basket good? Yeah, where they yeah, touched the so, backboard. Yeah, so we had a situation where the, the guy, Gomez, went to lay it up. 
Um, and as he went, oh, that's a foul. As he went, as he went to lay it up, the guy slapped the backboard. Derby yep. again, pressured at the half court, just seemed to get out of it. Yeah. Um, ball thrown away, it rolls to a Derby player, and this one has grown to 19 now. Yeah, and again, all the effort coming out the timeout with the double. You know. That foul is going to be on Bowman, I think. Yeah, yeah. And again, I think this is where there's work to be done for this, for this young Rockets team in terms of young in their time together where you've got different players at the light. So we haven't seen Richards get, a, get an open shot that he's going to make yet. We've not really seen anything for Dixon. We've just seen AJ. And... Richards rebound, finds Dixon, he fires away from three, doesn't get it. Richards with another rebound. He'll go inside with the left, but that's Stanley who just stands his ground. Yeah. And Derby are off and running again. It's three on two here. They find Gomez right wing and he makes another one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... just like that, the lead yeah. is 22. 22 and it is also the, the quality of that, the knowledge of that from Gomez, absolutely knowing absolutely knowing that that was going to be a, a, a two daggers that he's hit knowing that the three is going to be you know it, it's high risk but when you can back yourself like that he's probably got an offensive rebound you've got rockets on the back foot and this is a really interesting game for Alan there's, there's, a, there's a lot in this game where he's going to be looking at this saying right who am I playing am I overplaying people that are not producing for us are we getting the right balance are we getting the right shots for the right guys what have we got? This game is easy when everything's going well for you. You know, it's when these, and we scored 67 points. It's, that's really low, 47 at half time. This held us to 20 in 15 minutes of play, and they've got 40. So that's the, the different spread. It's a foul there. It's going to be on. Boho, I believe. Smith just trying to find room out of the post up. Yeah. Another shot of the uh, Rockets faithful here tonight. Yeah. Consuming, hopefully. Sweet thrown out by our man on the mic. Bailey's over there whipping up a storm in the crowd. Doing a good job for us as always. Referees have conferred on this one. They're talking about, uh, by looks things, a leg sticking out. I don't know if that's on Smith or it's on the the hold from it's Boho. It's an unsportsmanlike foul oh. against Malcolm Smith, I believe. For sticking on, his leg out. On, that's that's yeah. the motion I'm seeing from everybody. Yeah, good good camera work as well. And the ref is explaining that exactly what we've just said. Yeah. So 5.41 to go, 20-point ball game. Derby lead this by 20. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, on the live stream up in the... 70s now consistently that's great i don't know if i saw did i see on twitter that it's being streamed in a sports bar in derby yeah well it, it, did that, i read that that's the rumors yeah and so if you are up there I derby fans send us a message if you're watching yeah. this in the sports bar with our commentary on that yeah. would be ace so yeah. if that's you in the sports bar watching derby on the road give us a shout on the live stream tell us the name of the bar and we'll give it a shout out absolutely just as Matthias hits the first after the unsportsmanlike, and he makes the second two. Yeah. Cut that to 18 now. Yep. And Wilford, after having 10 in the first half, went for nine in the in the third quarter alone. Um, and now Gomez as well is he got himself eight points almost in a row. So he's gone for 10 and had six in the first half of the game so and now he's got to contend with AJ the Rockets trying to post AJ up Trailblazers wanted that little double tip where it tips off the defender then back off the offensive yeah. guy where he uh, yeah. tries to adjust his yeah. hand not given yeah 
It's Richards out on three. He'll go to that left hand stop. Fire it up, no good. Definitely hit the rim, yeah. but it's Derby off and running again. Three on two, up top to Bowman, and he will flush it down on the alley oop from Gomez. And the Derby Trailblazers are having a great time here. Yeah, and you've got you've got that where we've got Rockets have taken two or three bad shots. Derby are out and running. Charlie Brown gets the ball, just makes an easy pass to Wilford. Everyone's okay handling the ball, and Wilford just gets all the way to the rim. It was so, Nick Richards on the spin for Rockets, but it's Wilford back inside again for Derby. Very uh, heady play from Wilford. AJ yeah. misses the long three, and again, that feels a little yeah. bit desperate. Yeah, very desperate with five minutes to go as well. And it's Jack Drayton said it's R&Rs is the sports bar, so big shout-out R&Rs for showing the live stream hopefully yeah. and it's Richards again and they yeah. immediate timeout so it's uh, Nick Richards on the three timeout smart from Matt Shaw probably trying to stop this gaining any momentum early it's 74 Rockets 91 for Derby they're up 17 in this one and yeah it's 424 to go yeah, and uh, Jack, you said I've never ever seen Malt get called for that ever. I don't think anyone has seen that call at the moment. Maybe it's something that we we'll see more of this season. And you're just seeing a close up there of Matt Shaw and Derby. And I said to you at the beginning of the game, uh, I think Matt's one of the uh, one of the brightest coaches in the country. He's always had good teams. They've always played within themselves. They've always played unselfishly. They've always made themselves tough to beat and whenever Rockets have, all, have terrific games against the Trailblazers, every single year there's always a good game. Whatever the, the, the grouping is like or whatever the league positions are like, it's still a really, really fantastic time um, against the, the Derby Trailblazers. So congratulations on them and having such a, a robust programme and Alan will be sure looking for the same sort of balance as well from his group. And difficult when your front six, um, when Powell's out as well. So you really have your sort of five, six senior guys. And then if your younger guys aren't really giving you the, the, the extra bit you want. So good to see Ross Stepney getting, a, getting another four minutes as well. Let's see if he can spark a little bit of something with a bit of youth and exuberance. Yeah, hope maybe we can get Nick Richards again. Nick's gone a little bit quiet. If you think about the end, the second quarter, where he's out on the break for a few, um, hit the three in that second quarter, like had a bit of a mix. We haven't seen as much on the on the run out from uh, Nick Richards. Maybe we can get him going in these last four minutes to make it interesting. Yeah. And that's Malcolm Smith again from yeah. the free throw line. And just like that, back to 19. Richards, here he goes on the run out. Laid it in, but there's a offensive, offensive foul. foul. Offensive foul then. Yeah. And I think that AJ hadn't let him get his feet set. And yeah, frustrating really because Nick had a, had a running layup there. And I, I would say frustrating is probably the word at the moment for this game. And nearly, nearly missed. Bowman goes over Stepney, puts that in. If, I'm, if I was going to sum it up in, in, or, or while we're watching these last few minutes, is I think the Rockets' struggles at the moment are coming from their guard play. Yep. It seems like most of the teams in this league... Yeah have, I don't know what the right word is, but an elite lead guard who seems to manage the team well. They've had uh, Trey Wilford today has been excellent defensively, has got them a bucket when he needed a bucket, has hit a three when he needed a three, but generally gets the ball in the right spots. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the Rockets have struggled in the times, you know, in the good few times I've seen them this year. I think the guard play of having a true leader at the one is is exposing them a little bit. Yeah, interesting, Mark. Because in certain games when we've when we've run up the scoreboard and we've competed with some teams, and you're saying, well, you know, Chive's got that ability, Dixon's able to do that as well, and 
th those sort of things haven't been an issue. But I agree with you against the, the top the top competition. It's, it's there's a we're, we're unsure. There's there's too many things we're unsure of. That was Wesseling in the corner, who I don't think has made one from three yet. Now after I called him out as being an elite, or Malcolm Smith with a huge block. Richards goes to the left and Malcolm Smith just comes and erases that on the backboard. Yeah, and I would say... Two twenty to go here, 95-75, Derby lead this by now 22. Yeah. Coach Keane still looking at a few options. Sam Grant about to check in. Yeah, I, I think he'll be wanting to just finish this game um, and get to the film. So it was really the third and beginning of the fourth that blew this one open. Um, Darby done a very nice job on the defensive end. Rockets, I think we said it early in the first quarter. Cohesion was a bit of a struggle, didn't get very good continuity in offence, and it sort of happened again in the third and beginning of the fourth where it just got blown open. Learning, yeah. though, lots of learnings for this yeah. one. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, we you go into half time, you want to get better in the second half, and we've given up 50, and there's two minutes to go. And that's, that's part of learning for every team where, you know, Step Richards in. for three. Setting a good board, yeah, and um, it's Smith. But you know we're in danger of giving up, you know, fifty to sixty points in the second half after you've made your adjustments, after you've seen the other teams generally their best weapons. So I think the coaches will be looking at this, going, okay, well, what was it we were trying to do? You know, like in, in you know in football, you're making your subs, aren't you? Bass was the same thing. You're you're making your efforts, you're changing what you're doing, you're changing your strategy, and what is it you can do to try and make this better? And, you know, I tell you, what, one of the things that made it for me was Derby up 20, Malcolm Smith chased down a, a, a block like, like they were down 20 yeah. um, with, with that that comes into it. So this is going to run out in the last minute. Um. Richards puts one in on the break and yep. maybe context dependent here, you know, for you guys not running quite as hard as they were, but I love seeing Nick out on the break. If we can get more of him doing that, it seems to finish well in transition. Not always as comfortable going off off the bounce in a half court set, so it's like to see more of that if possible. And it's Bowman who just throws one down on the leak out from the inbounds plate. Yeah, it's clever though, isn't it? Like we've seen him do that two or three times. And what's smart is that's straight from the coach as well, Mark. That's yep. He's, he's given that um, and said and said to him, right, well, we'll all come back to the ball and then you just run out. You you can outrun that guy, so just go for it. Yep, very smart. Good from uh, Matt Shaw and Dixon way off. Yeah, and this and one will be as good as done. 99-77, 22-point lead for Derby. Yep. Quick stop. There's a, an adjustment on the table. Yeah, okay. Um Sanchez King, did I really see Malcolm Dunk? Yes, you did. It was a it, yes. I I'll mean, say, it, it, I'll say yes. It, that's what, what I think we call it a veteran's dunk. He's still athletic enough to get over the rim and just drop it in. That's yeah. good enough as a dunk for yeah. me. Wesseling again, off right. Yeah. Charlie Brown with the rebound, and Wesseling might get another He's look at it. He's going to make this one. He does. I told you. And he. Uh, <laughs> Shakes his head in, uh, I guess, wry disbelief there that he finally made one. Well, that will be the end of it. 77 to the Rockets, 102 to the Derby Trailblazers in a game that was really close in the first half, just absolutely gets away from the Rockets in the second. Yeah. I'm just taking a look at Alan Keane walking to midcourt. He looks visibly frustrated yeah. um, in his whole demeanour. Um, scratching his head and just really you can tell he's doesn't have a lot of words at the moment so it'd be interesting if we get a few minutes to catch up with him um, after the game but um, the Derby Trailblazers applauding a few of the Derby fans that made the trip everyone else who joins on the live stream from Derby that's great 
Um, Sanchez King says a whole three years of playing with Malcolm Smith at Derby, and it's the first time he's ever seen him do anything like that dunk. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, we're not really glad that we were here to see it, but, but, but good for you and good for, and good for Malcolm. He's a, he's a real outstanding young man, and uh, he's a credit to his family, credit to the club, and credit to this division as well. So, you know, well done, and I uh, hope your friendship's long and strong. So, Matt, give us your closing thoughts while we wrap this one up. Yeah, frustrating. I think that's the word. I think frustrating. There's a the game's tied at the uh, end, at half time, 47 all, and it's 77 102. I think I think it just tells you about how players manage themselves as well, you know. And uh, they'll be watching watching the film back and looking at it and saying, yeah, there'll be a few hands up that say, you know, I need to do a better job there, and I can certainly produce better for this team. So. I, I'm, yeah, I think it's frustrating is the word that's been through from almost the beginning of the game, shot selection, everything. And be interesting to see when Alan does the breakdown about what types of shots that he got and we got and whether they were the ones that he would have wanted. So, you know, it's, a, it's great to see so many people here. Great to see the, the guys thanking the crowd and everything else. But I think this is one that is, uh, should be put on the, on the post of learning. And we'd be very interested to see how quickly we get this, uh, get into practice and, and, and get this off our, get this off our backs. Absolutely, and I think you're, as you say, the players have thanked the uh, support here in the crowd today. It leaves me to thank everybody who joined us for the live stream up in the 80s, um, which is brilliant viewership. So again, really, really appreciate it. When these live streams come about, we should try to live stream all of our home games here from the Mead. Be sure to check out the social media channels that will be either a version of Reading Rockets or at Rockets Reading. Check both um, to see where, where they are on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. Matt, thank you for joining yeah. me. Great to have a thank full you, game um, with you in the books, which we haven't done this season yet. So that was yeah. great. Um, any thoughts, queries from anybody who watched the live stream, give us a shout, send us feedback. We'll take it all in. But we will be uh, here next time. Thank you, Osborne, for the shout out. Thanks, T, for the shout out. We do our best to make sure we're giving everybody around the world coverage of their friends and family and, and people they've known through their basketball and careers. So leaves me to say thank you so much for joining us and we will catch you next time. Liz, thank you as well. David G, thank you. We will catch you all next time. <laughs>